Thanks for staying with us. As I said, we're just speaking based on face value. Mm -hmm. And I, what Tokwe said something yesterday about leverage, you know, some people have that political clout that when they come and take power, they might diminish your own, whatever clout you have. So there are other issues that could be where Baseku might be fearful of this man's ambition, that he, this guy becomes governor like this. All the stronghold, because you know when you, become, when you, when you leave the job, job as a governor, you either become a godfather-ish or somebody who has authority over certain groups. Mm -hmm. But if this person come, becomes governor, it might reduce that. We don't know. I'm just saying these are all speculations if you based play, on what calculations. Yeah. But if you play, if the governor is playing that game, he's making the deputy governor a victim. And, make, and he's making himself hero. look bad. Yeah. And making the deputy governor the hero. hero. And so people are going to, you know how we love the underdog yes. in Nigeria? Everybody's going to support him. Which is what him. happened with him and Oshimoni. Yes, mm. exactly. But you know, the way I also see Shaib, um, the deputy governor, Philip Shaibu, is that he's such a politician. You know, the making the, the call. Politician. Yes, so making the call, um, approaching him in public at that event. Yeah. You know those are very calculated. God bless you. Uh -huh. So you're like, look at me. I came to greet him at church. Look at me. I went to my office. You know that he knows that files have been moved maybe weeks ahead. He knows that they have been moving back and forth. But he approached that office like, hey, I just came to the office. And he's in all of it. To show that, listen, I'm the victim. I'm the I've tried. I'm the other dog. Let me take this call. Good morning. Thank you for calling. Politics. Good Hello. morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, that's what, what, one area that I was expecting people to mention, but you have not mentioned it. Yeah. You see, I, I'm not surprised about what happened in Edo. In your report, they said there are some heads you don't offend them. Because you offend them, you say them, there is a question. But sure, money went out of his way to bring this to the government. So I have what is God's son. But the disabled man, the humiliated man, the doctor. Today, look at it, they are fighting. They are not starting. Unless they go back to show money, to have for forgiveness, you pay for to have. Otherwise, they are just starting. So mm -hmm. don't be say people that help you to oh. any power. God bless you. Thank you. I didn't they say he betrayed Oshomale. I said it earlier that it is what. Uh, he did mm. to Oshimole. Osh Don't bite the hand that feeds uh -huh. him. Because Oshimole was the godfather mm -hmm. that put him there. Mm. And when he put him there, he, he, I mean, I think Oshimole must have been saying, do this, do this. I said, ah, ah, let me, let me govern. Okay, no, I'm not even doing it again. Let me go to another party. Because mm. now, because he wasn't obeying Oshimole, uh, he, that's okay. became, he aligned with okay. mm. uh, And uh, Oshimole wanted to put another person because he wasn't doing his bidding. Yeah. How I saw the politics at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's, that's what's coming back to bite him now. Hmm? That's, that's what's coming back to bite the, him the, now. The person that he let's let's give comments on social media. is now biting his hash. <laughs> Why <laughs> can't? <laughs> hey, we can't, we're not allowed to ski. <laughs> so, let me take this call, Yaku. <laughs> morning, Yaku. Thanks for calling. <laughs> uh, good morning, bro. And then, uh, good morning, man. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Mary and all good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, Mariah, for, for me, uh, I think it has uh, any sympathy for Shwaibu. <laughs> but uh, the truth is this. You know, if not the, if not Shwaibu, Obasha King could have not become a governor at the second time because Obasha King is very politician. He is very politician. It was Roshi Omole. That went high and brought Obasi to policy, and then make sure that he become the governor of that state. I can tell you for free, the, the, the former information uh, governor of the uh, information in that state, uh, in terms of Kachi Masetwa, all of them they, 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 they bring Obasi into power at that time. They told the Shia Malay to I don't know why the Shia Malay is against all of them as another time. And then make sure that the Obasi is called the doctor. And then the second time, you can see how Shwaibu was lambasted the Shia Malay as another every fora. Oh, Shwaibu would be throw a stone, throw arrows to Shia Malay as another. But what makes the Shia Malay to fail as another second time is that if you have to that time, the Shia Malay already demanded. The president has wanted to block him at the second time against Obasi. So the CPP, they, they just they, they, they have less work to do. They are just playing the figure of the government, the market, the as 
So, I don't have any sympathy for both of them. I think they are going to be able to do that. I don't have any sympathy for both of them. I think it is now. I don't think it is true. They will make both of us a key and get uh, uh, this guy to help him. So, to talk to the government, they will be present that the government is going to be able to do that. They want to do that. Okay, thank you very much, Jacob. Yeah, Let's take a few comments and okay, wrap up. Yeah. Correct. So, Michael uh, says, uh, well, this same Shwaibu uh, fought his brother Shomele for Baseke. So, now, so, it did be. Uh, Moses Ade, in replying to Kore, says, you are absolutely wrong. It's not the call of the governor to decide who presides over the people of Edo. It's the prerogative of the people. The people yeah. of Edo should be protesting. Oladidi says, the phone call clip is like watching comedy, like typical phone call between Sabinus and Edo. Honorable uh, Adimola Alaladi says, the governor and the deputy are not demonstrating gentlemanliness with the way they are going about their differences. They should behave um, civilly and respect each other. Politics should not be seen as a do or die thing and, should, and it should be played clean as people are watching. Um, um, okay. Alaladi says, people are suffering trying to survive. This matter is trivial and should not make the news at all. Corey Michael says, you... you um, <laughs> But unfortunately, that is the sort of politics that is being played in Nigeria. Show me one governor in Nigeria that doesn't choose his successor. Mm -hmm. And that was my point exactly. Mm -hmm. Why must you choose your successor? Why are governors always so lodging it over their deputies and lodging it over everybody? Please, Sometimes. don't be... Can I answer that question? Yes, please. Yeah. And I'm not answering for them, because I know you will say that I'm supporting government. But usually, sometimes, when, when it seems that a governor tries to get a successor, because you've have, you've put, you only have four years or eight years, and you can't really have full development in eight years. So you want somebody who, can, who, can, who understands your vision, who you know can drive what you're doing and ensure um, longevity in your plans for the people. So if you bring in somebody, a total stranger, a total stranger comes on, he might totally um, reverse a lot of things you've done. So you are building a bridge and somebody, Mr. A is the one that you've given the job to do the bridge because you know you can do it. Somebody comes and says, ah, no, my uh, brother can do it better. You now reverse it. There are different, different things. Well, I, I get that for different parties. Yes. But I don't get that for the person that you've been working with in the four or eight years. That's your right-hand man. So when the person have your right-hand man, you know them better. Hmm. You realize, hmm, now that I know BC, BC I've been working with, I, I thought we are cool. But after working so closely with BC, I see I some know that ways. this person may not be able to do things. Remember our, our governor, our former governor, the president now, his deputy, mm -hmm. I mean, Pedro at the time, mm -hmm. also wanted to be run. Mm -hmm. He went to go and pick Fashola. Mm -hmm. So people know that, I'm, I'm not saying anything against Mr. Yeah. Pedro, I'm just saying that anybody who works closer to you might know you better than the people yeah. seeing outside. So well, maybe that's, that's why some governors like to pick their yeah, successors. That's, that's one just, side. That's one side. That, there's also another side of you may now know the BC and realize that the BC is no nonsense person. The BC would uncover the loopholes which you have left yeah. to yeah. still be For sure that you're a thief. Or should I a thief? Which you want to be feeding from when you are out of government. Yeah, so instead plan. of putting the BC now that will open her mouth and just say everything like that, let us put the person who I know that will we'll cover, my tracks. cover my tracks. Yeah, yes. So there are, so there are different the ways we can, yes. So it's a, it's a, it's a, or, a chance. Or, or the BC Another. will chop alone, she will not share. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> so we never really know. Yes. Until but, but, they get but, there. Yeah. Mm. But what will solve this, which we always advocate for, is to have the right systems, which keeps the government in continuum. Check. Yeah. Exactly. So the fear of... Whether it's um, another party yeah, or so the same party. Matter. The fear of the project that I have started, uh, somebody will come and scatter it, will not be there, because the system ensures that this project must be completed. Can whoever can comes into that office, okay. you know? Let me take this call from Olari Waji. Good morning, Olari Waji. Thanks for calling. Hello, good morning. You're live. Thank Go you ahead. for keeping me with you for so sorry. 10 minutes. Ha -ha. Sorry, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I, I will go in different dimensions. Mm -hmm. You know, I tried to call yesterday, but I was unable to get through. I got four questions to ask the police officer, um, the public uh, commission officer, yesterday, but I couldn't get through. Maybe you can pass this question to him. Number one, I think Sister Yemi has already mentioned that petition. Here in the UK, if everybody, you know, if it, even, even in online, not even petition, someone threaten your life, police will go after you. Firstly, they will go after that person to either inviting or arresting to come and clear instead. The whole petition being written and it was being kept aside. That's number one. I don't know why. I, I can't understand it. 
Number two, that guy calling Larry, what's his own business within the music that is after this guy? What does he act with him? I don't understand. I didn't get the second one. And then, oh, okay. he's asking about uh, what is Larry's Sam. business with Music. music. Okay, I is think he say he's a show promoter. Or what is he? Okay, that's all we can take on the segment concerning um, Deputy Governor Shebu of Edo State. Let's go and break when we come back with one to another topic. Stay with us. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.